Yo, what is up, y'all? My name is Devin, and today I'm... Hey guys, Editing Devin here. Please ignore the fact that my tank top is messed up at the top there. I really don't like it. It's ugly to look at, and I apologize. But please enjoy the video because I put my heart into this video, so I hope you guys like it. I'm going to be sharing a little bit of my experience in the men's gym locker room because I have gotten reacquainted with it since top surgery, and I just kind of wanted to share some insight for any of my homies who are kind of fearing entering the gym locker room, how it feels being post-op. If you are interested in one-on-one -on -one coaching, a meal plan, or a training plan, feel free to email me at Devin Des coaching at gmail.com and we can discuss your options now the men's gym locker room is I have to be the one to say it. Maybe my experience is different than everybody else's. I hear people say, oh, the men's locker room is so fucking disgusting. And while that's true, the men's locker room is disgusting. I've also lived as a female for 19 years. And I can tell you that I also saw very disgusting shit in the woman's restroom as well. I saw fucking pads just disposed of very poorly. I've seen pee on the seat of women's toilets as well. Now, the nasty stuff that I see in the dude's toilets is like dudes leave deuces and then they put mad toilets paper on top to try to like cover up the evidence I guess and they try to flush it and then it doesn't go down and it's just overall giving very low IQ and dudes are very disgusting I'm not trying to act like one gender is less disgusting than the other because I feel like we can agree that sometimes humans are dirty gender not important right as far as I don't want to go into the men's locker room because it's going to be fucking disgusting I would say it's a pretty equivalent amount of disgusting dispersed between both genders so don't worry about that I have found a pretty useful little hack that makes me feel a little bit more comfortable with using the restroom in the men's locker room. I grab a long ass piece of toilet paper and I tuck it into the side of the stall that has that little slit where like someone can like look at you through it and be like, ah, oh, that dude's taking a shit. Most of the time, I'm not gonna lie, when I'm in the gym locker room, I am taking a shit. What I wanna get into a little bit deeper here is how I have felt about taking my shirt off in the gym locker room since being post-op. I never once even thought about taking my shirt off before top surgery in the gym locker room. And I've seen some guys do that that are pre-op and I'm like, Shout out to you, bro, because that's incredibly brave. Only around eight, nine months post-op did I even gain the courage to take my shirt off. And literally yesterday, I did it for the second time. I will say that I did have this feeling of like extreme anxiety, like fuck. I have visible scars. Obviously, they're fading nicely as time goes on, but they are visible. And if anybody knows anything about trans people, they're going to know that I'm trans, right? So there's always that fear of, is someone going to call me out? Is someone going to say, hey, that guy's trans? In the two times that I've taken my shirt off in the gym locker room, I've done it at like 7.30 in the morning, which are non peak hours it feels a little bit liberating maybe this is where the men's restroom does differentiate from the woman's restroom i have seen like hookup type deal stuff happen in the men's locker room i live in a pretty decent area i live in a pretty nice area actually and the gym that i go to is a pretty nice gym as well and literally in all the bathroom stalls there is written literally phone numbers and hookup spots and it's just kind of like i've never seen that in a woman's bathroom i have nothing against like hookup culture or anything like that bro like there's apps for that like why we gotta be riding on the bathroom stall type shit so that's just another thing that makes me be like okay let me handle my business and get the fuck up out of here right but overall taking my shirt off in the gym locker room and navigating the gym locker room post-op has been a little bit of a liberating experience even though this has nothing to do with fitness only a small amount if you are interested in one-on-one -on -one coaching feel free to email me go ahead and follow me on instagram or I post my bodybuilding updates and some informational content. It's going to be at DVNSPRS, but it will also be linked in the description down below. If you have any gym horror stories or any cool gym stories, any stories of support in the gym, feel free to drop that down below because positive impacts make a difference. And like I always say, Devin loves you. Devin's a dawn and Devin is out of here, boy. Ah.